Rolling? Mm -hmm. Here we go. We are rolling. What's up, everybody? It's Lance Romance, and this is the behind the scenes story of Lance Romance, South Grand Prairie Kid, the Rap Country album. So I'm giving you the titles, I'm giving you some storylines with the titles, and how did this country rap album, you know, come to the point of uh, finally being recorded um, and basically uh, getting ready to be released this June of 2019. Uh, I started the process of this album and made a tweet back in August, I believe it was like uh, August, I don't know, 18th or 19th of 2017. I tweeted that I was gonna uh, record and release South Grand Prairie Kid. Um, two years later, uh, we're basically um, in the process of finally doing it. Just took a little bit of time for the industry to accept, uh, I guess, the format of country music at a very commercial pop culture level. As you see, the uh, fast pace of the internet and technology has also increased the awareness of certain styles of country music. And everyone knows now, Old Country Road, um, Little Nas X and the song has taken off tremendously over a billion you know, streams and uh, with Miley Ray Cyrus, well, not Miley Ray Cyrus, just Billy Ray Cyrus, Miley Cyrus's dad on the actual song, um, on the remix and people would like uh, Chris Rock in the video has given um, Little Nas X a different level of exposure and platform and congrats to Little Nas X um, for accomplishing a very independent strategic plan to uh, see a vision of his artistic style um, and congrats on signing with epic Columbia Sony um, that will no doubt take his career to the next level. So I'm Lance Romance and this is South Grand Prairie Kid. All right. So South Grand Prairie is a um, little town outside of Dallas, Texas, but it's not really little anymore, but in the 80s, um, early 80s, when I went to school there, I went to a high school at first called South Grand Prairie, um, and then later I went to Evangel Temple, a uh, little private Christian school, but I went to uh, South Grand Prairie first um, when my mother, my brother, and myself uh, got relocated when my mother uh, had a um, new relationship that we uh, basically, you know, transferred from San Antonio to Dallas. And basically, when we got to Dallas, we were living in this area called Trailwood. And uh, Trailwoods were basically uh, in a suburb of this bigger picture of Grand Prairie. And Trailwood was, you know, like a very traditional middle class um, suburb type neighborhood. And uh, they had Truman Middle School and the high school was South Grand Prairie. So South Grand Prairie has exploded now, multiple shops, businesses, malls, highway infrastructure, and all kind of um, restaurants and shops and et cetera. So South Grand Prairie means a lot to me because I thought that if I was gonna tell um, a story, it would be told um, through the eyes of being a South Grand Prairie kid. Um, and basically, I, I've heard so many styles of country music while I was in Dallas, but really San Antonio, uh, coming up at uh, Robert G. Cole High School at Fort Sam Houston uh, Army Base. But when I got to uh, Dallas, and when I got to South Grand Prairie, Grand Prairie in general, um, I saw and heard so many different styles of musicians playing country music. And um, I just said, hey, this is you know an interesting time. And of course, there was multiple styles of pop culture music um, as well, um, from Prince to Boy George to Michael Jackson to et cetera. But um, you know, along with all the pop music, wham, and all of the traditional music that you know we all know about the 80 artists, Cyndi Lauper, and, you know, um, just, you know, the megaforce of, you know, 
Tina Turner and other, you know, icons of the 80s, but uh, I was living in Texas and I remember uh, hearing um, Lionel Richie and Kenny Rogers doing a record together and said, you know, I didn't never, you know, I never imagined that, you know, two big artists like that can collaborate and make a great record. So the whole process of basically utilizing my learning in South Grand Prairie, um, even to the point where I almost um, didn't want to play basketball just to be in the band, just to hear different people's um, concept of music and style. But I, I decided to play sports instead. I couldn't really do both like I was doing in San Antonio at uh, Cole High School, same school that Shaquille O'Neal went to actually in San Antonio. But anyway, that's a different story. But back to South Grand Prairie, that's the name of my album. I just figured if I'm going to do a country album, I should definitely pay homage to where I thought that, you know, that first initial country vibe kicked into me um, pre, uh, I should say post San Antonio. Um, but, you know, South Grand Prairie Kid is, you know, that's who I was at that time. I graduated high school in 84. So I was in, you know, Grand Prairie from, I want to say, 82, 83 until I graduated in 84, you know, so pretty much three years. But those three years impacted my life as far as understanding, you know, music at a different level and commercializing, you know, my thought process of country music. So South Grand Prairie Kid um, has 12 cuts on the album. The 12 cuts on the album um, just takes you through um, an emotional, you know, roller coaster ride of life, the journey of love, relationships, friendships. Um, it's so ironic that uh, South Grand Prairie Kid, um, again, I, I started this process of creating this album um, back in August of 2017, and now we're in June of 2017, and by the time I release it, it'll probably be by July 4th. Hopefully everything goes as planned and you'll be hearing it. And we'll probably have to edit this part out if we're not going to release it this year. But South Grand Prairie Kid is a, it's the story of that time of me living in Grand Prairie in high school moments. And that's, that's, that's where I'm at with, uh, you know, South Grand Prairie. And I think that uh, everybody has high school moments that they basically like. And I think these are some great stories that you will basically hear. Um, I love the 80s and <laughs> South Grand Prairie is, you know, all 80s to me, um, especially early 80s. So you'll, you'll get to see how I incorporate the pop culture of that time with, you know, um, movies and TV shows and images of fashion. Um, you know, I love all of the, the cult mu movies are pretty in pink, um, 16 Candles, Breakfast Club, you know, all the Hughes movies. Um, and, I, and I like everything from the 80s, so I'm, I'm honored to create this album, South Grand Prairie Kid, that basically um, is an overall vision of my 80s high school experience and living in uh, the suburban part of Dallas, Texas called Grand Prairie. And I named it South Grand Prairie Kid because it was through my high school, um, South Grand Prairie High School that I saw the images of style and fashion that really impacted my life in the direction of probably how I created a lot of my own style and fashion when I came into the hip hop culture, into the rap industry and the music industry itself. So South Grand Prairie Kid is this is what it is. So um, back to the music. 12 tracks on South Grand Prairie Kid, and those 12 tracks are really, really big, big records. Um, the album itself um, has, you know, multiple people involved. Uh, the album itself, technically the process, if you want to say the album is a 10-year-old process, um, and uh, certain artists worked on the album, writers and producers, 
And what I'm doing is recreating what I think works for me at this time as an artist, as a rap artist doing country music for today's pop culture in 2019. So I'm going to read you some of the titles of the Lance Romance, South Grand Prairie Kid uh, album. So we have a title and then that way I'll talk about each title so you can understand that, you know, each title basically has a crazy storyline or just a general storyline of relationship, love, or life. So we have a song on um, Lance Romance, South Grand Prairie Kid, the country album, a song title called Just Do It. Of course, we all know when you hear Just Do It, you think of Nike, the slogan, Just Do It. Um, but there are a lot of double meetings to the song titles that I basically created um, the raps to go with. So there, there, those are double meetings to a lot of the lyrics that I created and the style that I'm projecting and the flow and the cadence and the swag. Um, so just do it um, has two meetings. The first meeting is in life. Don't hesitate, just do it, right? If you believe in yourself and you believe in your gut and you believe in your intuition, whatever it is in relationship, just do it. Um, because if that's what you feel, you have to release what you feel. And most of the time your, your gut is gonna tell you something um, that is uh, really, you know, intuition. So just do it is one of the I guess you want to say one of the angles to storytelling of just do it is just do it. The other one is from the concept of the music and the song itself is the feeling of somebody that um, either is scared to say that they love you or is scared to break up with you. So you're asking that person to either just do it, either break up with me or, or tell me that you love me. Just do it. Again, it goes back to not hesitating and just being open and just doing it. So again, it has double meetings. People are gonna hear different things they wanna hear within the song itself or throughout the album. I mean, it's 12 cuts and all these songs are really good. Um, the music is good, the hooks are good, the writing um, from the musicians and artists that were part of this process, they're great talent. Um, on my end, I definitely flip the script if you want to call it the remix of this style of album um, based on the way that I created it to fit today's pop culture uh, South Grand Prairie Kid is definitely going to be one to you know listen and look at but anyway just do it is one of the song titles so that's one and the other one is called Someday Someday is on the South Grand Prairie Kid album and Someday is basically another album and another song that basically has the fit of people having a dream or a goal or the process of stating to somebody that someday they're gonna make it, someday we'll be in love, someday we'll be together, someday things will come together. So again, multiple ways to look at a title and someday has a very open lane that could work I believe that, you know, in, in this particular song, there's someday um, people will find a way and then someday um, maybe we'll get back together or we'll get together. You have to decide yourself after listening to it, but that's the song, Someday, and that is on the Lance Romance, South Grand Prairie Kid country album. All right, so that was Someday. Okay, so now we have Just Do It, and someday. All right, the next one is, um, which I feel is going to be the lead single off of this South Grand Prairie Kid album, um, is a song called You Don't Stand Alone. And I believe that this song is, is very important to life in general because there are so many people going through different things in life um, from from grieving relationships, grieving birth, uh, or, or not grieving birth, but uh, being joyous about 
um, maybe, you know, bringing life into this world or losing some of your closest friends or family or your, your loved ones um, and having to go through that or, you know, medical issues, um, just uh, sexual preferences, um, being bullying um, or being bullied or, you know, people that are, are, are taken back because they're always feeling like they can't be themselves. Um, you never stand alone. I mean, you don't have to stand alone. And that's, that's the whole, you don't stand alone concept is based on <clears throat> giving yourself a real open lane an open highway to be yourself. You don't stand alone and you don't stand alone is important so that the world knows that uh, in today's new world, don't feel like you are are the only person trying to struggle or trying to break down a barrier to do what you do. Um, you don't stand alone. You now have support. You now have help. Um, I think the video to the song is going to be very powerful, very impactful. I think it's a very, um, you know, great story that needs to be heard and told every day, all day. So I believe this is going to be the lead single off of the album, South Grand Prairie Kid. And I believe that many people are going to like it. And I think that it will bring people together in many ways. And um, that's You Don't Stand Alone. So hold on. <coughs> Gatorade break. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Feel free to start. So we went through three titles of the Lance Romance South Grand Prairie Kid album. Um, the three titles that we basically, uh, song titles that we went through was um, Just Do It, Someday, and of course the main one that I just told you about was You Don't Stand Alone. And that means a lot to myself Many people, you don't stand alone, is very powerful. And um, I hope that it is um, taking in many directions and I hope it helps a lot of people when this record comes out. Um, the meeting, the lyrics, and you know the way that I structured the newness of bringing it to pop culture in a very rhythmic, rap, poetic way. You don't stand alone. Okay, so let's keep it moving. <clears throat> Let's move on to some other titles for the uh, Lance Romance South Grand Prairie Kid album. Let's see, let's move on to, okay, let's listen. Uh, we have a song called um, See the World Without You. And See the World Without You, again, two different meetings. You can look at it in two different ways. See the World Without You is um, meant to hit you directly in your heart. It could mean you're going to see the world without that person that you thought would be in your life or you're going to see the world through the way that person is living their life without you. But basically, uh, see the world without you um, is just moving on, seeing the world. I'm going to see the world without you. Uh, I'm going to take it to the next level and I didn't need to have you part of my life for me to see the world without you. So, And again, people are going to have their own conceptual thought process of what that world, well, what that song means to that person living in that world. So, but anyway, that's another title. And then we have The Girls Got It Going On. Um, very, very campy, upbeat, fun, swinging, country, rocking the barn. The Girls Got It Going On. All the positive things that you can think of when a girl has it going on when she basically, you know, looks at herself and feels herself and how comfortable she's in her skin, doesn't matter, you know, age, age, race, creed, color, religion, you know, sexual preference, size, um, whatever the situation may be, the girl's got it going on. 
um, and it can also mean the variations of, of the positivity of believing that somebody else has a, a very certain swag that illuminates the room when they walk in. But The Girls Got It Going On is another title on the South Grand Prairie Kid album. So I'm sure that's going to, you know, get a lot of heads bopping. Very cool song. Um, and uh, another song is called A Different Point of View. Again, uh, you can take this title, flip it in many directions, in many different ways. Um, a Different Point of View on the, the Lance Romance South Grand Prairie Kid album is exactly one of the reasons I wanted to create um, this style of album is because it's my point of view from a very great country album, but my point of view from an artist, my point of view from a lyricist, my point of view as a producer, my point of view, the way I look at relationships and the way I look at life and the way I see pop culture is my, my direct point of view. So this is my point of view as Lance Romance and I believe my point of view is exactly what it is, my point of view. And if people have their own point of view, then it's a different point of view. So that song, A Different Point of View, is basically um, directly related, uh, directly related to exactly what people might perceive a different point of view. Keep that in mind. A different point of view, South Grand Prairie Kid, my view. But it could be a different point of view. Hey, everyone has different views and relationships and everyone has a different point of view in relationships and everyone has a different point of view in life, opinion. Everyone has a different point of view in the concept of thinking, a different point of view in morals, a different point of view in, 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 poli in politics, a different point of view in religion, a different point of view in education. Everyone has a different point of view in finance, social media, etc. So a different point of view is, you know, there to bring different um, structures of, of opinion through that. So there you have it, different point of view. All right, so let's move on. So we just discussed uh, See the World Without You, See the World Without You from South Grand Prairie Kid album. We also said uh, The Girls Got It Going On, The Girls Got It Going On, South Grand Prairie Kid album. And we have um, different point of view, different point of view, Lance Romance, South Grand Prairie Kid album. All right, so now we're gonna move on and give you some more titles. Again, remember there's 12 songs on this Lance Romance, South Grand Prairie Kid album, 12 songs. So the next batch of songs that we're going to uh, go through, um, a song title called I Still Want You Back, Everyone knows country music has a ton of love stories, a ton of feeling, a ton of emotion, a ton of passion. Um, I Still Want You Back is, hey, a man crying out um, through his heart and soul and his passion that he still would like, you know, his relationship to come back. And it, this song can go in many different ways for many different people, with many different, you know, concepts, but I Still Want You Back it's a great song from the Lance Romance, South Grand Prairie Kid album. I Still Want You Back is going to uh, be a little bit more direct with lyrics, but I think you're going to appreciate the honesty that uh, I put into these verses as a rap artist. And, you know, I Still Want You Back is going to hit home for a lot of people, maybe including yourself. So there you have it with that song, um, I Still Want You Back. And we have a song, Candle, Roses, and wine, candle, candles with an S, candle, roses, and wine, is a, is a very unique song. It has multiple meetings again, but basically it's uh, enjoying that moment um, when you're with someone and you feel that no matter what's happening in the world, during that moment of, of, of complacency, of feeling loved with a uh, you know, the, the concept of candles and roses and wine. and It's, it's romantic. It's a moment. It's a moment that people um, go and have in, in private cabins or trips or hotels or their own house, apartment, a tent, room, or, you know, jump off spots, whatever you may call it. Um, it's a good song. I think that a lot of people are going to interpret it 
um, in their own meaning, but I think that, uh, you know, it's one of those songs, um, Candles, Roses and Wine, that has a diversified, uh, cross-structured, cross, um, crossover audience, so from young to old, but, you know, that's uh, Candles, Roses and Wine. And I'm not a alcohol drinker, but wine is romantic, and a lot of people say wine is healthy, depending on the type of wine. But uh, there you have it. So that's also on the South Grand Prairie Kid album. So let's go to another song title. Um, let's go to I'll Always Love That Girl. I'll Always Love That Girl. Again, keep in mind <clears throat> the concept of my 80s theme. I'll always love that girl. It's like when you have your first crush on a girl in high school, when you have your first crush on a girl and you're still passing her notes in class, when you have a crush on a girl from going to the prom, when you have a crush on a girl that's a cheerleader or dance squad member or flag girl or she's in band or maybe, you know, the volleyball team or the basketball team or, you know, most popular or student council, whatever it is. but. Um, I thought that this title, you know, is something that, you know, I'll always love that girl will um, have a lot of connection to a lot of people that never let go of their childhood sweethearts, never let go of those high school moments, never let go of their first love or their first crush or their first puppy love or whatever you want to call it. So, you know, um, I thought this song, you know, I'll always love that girl was a good song to, uh, you know, have on an album um, with the way I'm flipping the lyrics and, and making it work for today's, you know, modern pop culture, but it's still a song that could work in the 80s, and it's a song that has that, that feel of falling in love for the first time and, you know, not wanting to be heartbroken, but understanding now life is different when you understand yourself and you understand love. So I'll Always Love That Girl is never... Um, letting go of something or somebody um, even sometimes people are in relationships and don't let go past their past or they don't let go of their past when they're in new relationships so that's um, you know that's the thought of I'll always love that girl from the South Grand Prairie Kid album Lance Romance I'll always love that girl all right so let's keep it moving so we had um, three songs in this batch <clears throat> 